the launch of 2022 Media Excellence Awards with an intention to reward the media bodies in the Eastern Region for the good work done over the years in the media space. According to the Chief Executive Officer for Eastern Region Media Excellence Awards, Mr. A.J. Woos, in his interview with Nation One TV said that the goal of the awards is to look out for the media excellent by the way of recognizing media personality in the region with 30 major categories. Yes, the cash back. All right, so definitely, if you are the one winning, definitely what you wish on Blue Boy. That's why they are saying. All right, uh, Inner Strength Award, that is what I know I've added. That's a special category. Now, this category simply means that we have journalists in the, in the, in the region. According to the Chief Executive Officer for Emir, Mr. A.J. Williams, established that this year awards will be different from the past years because of its full packages in order to throw more light in the practices of excellent journalism in Eastern Region. Excellence Awards is it's an award scheme that rewards media excellence in the region. We bring together all the media personalities in the region by way of awarding them for their uh, good well, good works that they've done throughout the year, uh, how they've been able to put themselves together to organize such uh, uh, themselves during the media space. So basically, Eastern Region Media Excellence Awards is to here just to reward them for their good works and also make sure that we have a growing media and a growing, giving them impact because the media is here to entertain, uh, uh, inform and educate. So we know that we can try as much as best as an award scheme to uphold those principles of the media. Basically, we're just looking for media excellence. At the end of the day, we want the Eastern Region to be a hub where uh, the media personalities in the region are well recognized. Now, we have statistics that shows that the majority of our presenters in Accra, all right, let's say 40% are from Eastern Region. We have a lot of media personalities who are in the various top media houses in Accra who are from Eastern Region. So we believe that Eastern Region has the best to offer when it comes to media. So we as an awards team, we want to highlight the media in the region as much as we can. Mention the major ones. We have a lot of categories. Uh, I cannot mention all, but I can mention the major categories that we have. We have roughly 30 for this edition. We have the Media Personality of the Year, which is Eastern Region Media Excellence Award Media Personality of the Year. We have Eastern Region Male and Female Presenter of the Year, uh, DJ of the Year, uh, we have uh, radio newscaster of the year, TV newscaster, TV station, radio station, and now we've added some new categories called the um, Zone A, Zone B, because we've segmented the Eastern Region into four zones. Each of these uh, red, uh, zones have their own media houses, so we've made sure that we want to bring them on board because the radio station in Eastern Region, Kofroidia, might not be heard in Odan. So how then does a media personality in Odan? have the access to uh, this award. So we've broken down into four categories, zones. So each zone has its own media personality who will be elected or selected in that zone who will also be contested for, voted for, and to have that prestige uh, award as media personality zone A, depending on where you're coming from. Then we have, there are many, there are many. All right, so this year's edition is gonna be great because this is our fifth anniversary. Uh, EMEA is supposed to be seven years now. But the category, the, the awards itself is in its fifth edition. Because of COVID, we couldn't do one of the editions. So what we are doing differently is that we are trying to throw as much light on the media personalities by engaging them in capacity building seminars, uh, programs, as, and also engaging them in various talks, uh, engaging them in our media tours, engaging them in our various uh, interviews, taking them to certain uh, media institutions or houses, that are training the media people to for them to be guest lecturers so that they can feel that responsibility as media personalities that they need to give back to the, the society as media personalities. So we, we have a whole array of uh, uh, plans we have for this uh, edition that will, and we are planning to also add a few travels here and there, especially local tourism and international tourism will be part of uh, this year's edition. That is what makes it different this year. Wow, the future of EMEA, that's a very deep question. Now, the future of EMEA, now let's imagine EMEA becoming something like the BETs. 
the Grammys, an award that everybody will want to will be part of, an award where everybody will want to associate with, an award that brings out the best in you, a media personality, an award that drives change in the media. That is what EMEA stands for. We want to be an institution, not just an award scheme. We want to be an institution that brings about change, impact to the lives of the media personalities, to the media space, and to the region as a whole. Then definitely it affects the whole country as a whole. Any part of well, uh, by God's grace, yeah, we have a few partnerships. It's not easy getting these partners, but uh, by God's grace, we have a few partners. We have Why Not Homeopathic Clinic, who is a health center here in Florida. And we have Dano Milk, which is an international company that has also come on board to support this very award. So uh, we are still looking for more because definitely we cannot do it alone. Okay, so this is a challenge that we face as an award scheme is, uh, definitely has to do with monetary aspect, finances, because definitely to organize a whole award scheme, it's not easy. You need uh, input or influx of cash or money or sponsorship or something. So it's been so challenging uh, because we need, we do tours. We go, we tour almost, we have almost 35 to 40 stations in the region. So imagine touring all the stations, it's all money. Before we come to the launch, before we come to the main event, before we come to the plaid, any other price that we need to add to it. So, yes, finances is a major challenge that we face. The rest of the challenges are not major as finances. Uh, finally, I also like to thank all our partners, our media partners who came on board. I would like to thank you, GTV, for coming on board and supporting us. And I would like to thank everyone who came to support, especially our stakeholders, our sponsor, Dano, and why not, I'm a part of so uh, we've also noticed as an award scheme that there are certain corruption tags to the media space because instead of you reporting the truth, you take some points and uh, uh, cover the truth and report something else, or you are even paid to even talk about false news, which is painting the image of uh, the media. Because definitely, the media is what is the fourth arm of government, if I'm right, and the, that it shows the power we have. We change the narrative of a nation, we, we promote the nation, we destroy. So we believe and hope that with EMEL, these challenges, we want to make sure that our media personalities are forthcoming, are, uh, are truthful, so that they can keep that integrity, that brand that is good for them, then they can go far, then the media will have its uh, good name once back with that who need to speak to the category when selected or winners. Yes. Yeah, well, the, th the thing I can say is that the reason why we say 730 is you have your vote because before you get to the media personality of it, you are shortlisted. So the best people are picked to be there. So once you are there, you are already a qualified candidate to win. So what it means is that the board now, after all your vote, the board now sits down. Then we look at each and everyone's performance. Then everybody votes to add up to who they think who wants to win. So whoever gets the board 30% or votes, majority votes from the board, then is crowned the winner. So that is what we're trying to explain. But we are hoping uh, their suggestion, all of them had valid uh, points that they made. As our award scheme, we need to listen because they are the people we are working with. So we will find ways they had a problem that uh, we're going to, the 30% was not going to be enough to make sure a winner is selected or anything. But we know we will have speaking there's a challenge because uh, the media space in eastern region needs a lot of capacity building and training and mindset uh, development our own people have a certain way of acting which it tends to make us adjust to that but that's not the right way. so yeah these are challenges we face Accra has its own problem eastern region has its own problem especially when it comes to uh, selecting certain key individuals because of their uh, mindset towards a certain things in the region, they tend to not come up 100%. So.